30. Absolute instinct and in hitting the right shot. Quiet, please. Love 30. Well played. Fifteen thirty. And if you look here, the chip and charge is the approved method. It's a perfect length, and Steffi finds a wonderful angle, and yet it's been anticipated. Thank you. Two break points. You rarely see Steffi query a call, so she's a little bit overwrought at the moment. Uh, of course, a tremendously important moment. Five games all, and McNeil playing perfect grass court attacking tennis against somebody reluctant to do what she should be doing, as Virginia Wade has pointed out since the very start. She needs to come into the net herself. Five ball. Interesting there, Virginia. She was chipping and charging. She can do that. And also, it was interesting that Laurie didn't want to hit that ball. She was begging it to go out. Caught a lot in the forehand, and that one she hit absolutely magnificently. But she needs to to get them past Laurie. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> in mouth again, but this time the right judgment. First service.
well anticipated that. And her volleys have been short, which is effective on grass and so close to the net. Again, Steffi doesn't really like to lob, but she was hanging over the net there. 30 all. Just a little bit of hesitation. There was a moment there when she wanted to go in on the last but one shot she hit and thought better of it. And then was in no man's land in mid-court for the final forced error. a nasty moment she's come up with the good the right shots there that running round to hit the off forehand to such an acute angle was exactly the right shot for the backhand and it was deep Steffi over hitting Rather tense faces on the front row there, all the Graf supporting club, and I'm sure Heidi, mum there, Mrs. Graf, must be very cold. She certainly looks cold, and she's fairly philosophical when Steffi doesn't do well, but underneath it all, she must be absolutely in knots. Steffi is in serious trouble, isn't she, when she's being out rallied from the baseline by Laurie. And Laurie has uh, served so well when she's had to. But what she is being allowed to do on Steffi's serve is she's being allowed to just put her racket on the ball and float it back deep because Steffi isn't coming in. Time. So a real test for the defending Quiet, champion. please. Quiet, please. Thank you. At 5-6 in the second set. She's having to come up with brilliant shots just to win one point. And she's not even getting too much out of her serve. First service. Thank you. 
forced into error by the quality of that return of a very deep second Thank serve, you. which I thought actually was dangerously long, but it was all right. Fifty on. Somehow Steffi managing to rifle one more. How lucky that McNeil didn't follow in that excellent lob. Forty fifty. <laughs> A little bit of football there. Sheer relief. Okay, please, cool go. Thank you. 40 15. Tiebreak. Well, at the best of times, tiebreaks are hazardous indeed for any player. And we'll see how the champion Please, feels and about this one. Zero Miss Grove. shot there One and absolutely nothing that Steffi can do about it finding the foothold a bit treacherous have gone against the server. McNeil, 2-1. Oh, yes. Three, two, Just managed ground. to connect a little bit earlier on that one. It was a pretty quick serve, 90 miles an hour. Good return. And still every point has gone against the server. Three, two. Three or one can only 
speculate what she's thinking, but of course it was the last match she played on this centre court. The final last year, she was a set. That's rather, she was 4-1 uh, down in the final set. Two breaks then, and came through, but the tie breaks rather different. There's no time really to dig in. Three on. happen at these sort of moments, I'm afraid, with Steffi. It happened in Key Biscayne last year when she lost to Sanchez Vicario, the forehand flying all over the place, double faults galore. And still, no one has won a point on serve, 4-3. through this crisis. serve that was so deep with a little bit of tension in the racket arm of McNeil on that last point. Still match point. She's done it! Absolutely stunned at the same time, delighted with the play of Laurie McNeil, who held firm when she might easily have folded. And a little tearful, it seems to me, there, Steffi, not surprisingly. A match played in three stanzas ends with a sensation. The defending champion. The number one seed, the world number one, is out. Beaten by Laurie McNeil.